Beer o Lantern. Happy Halloween, everybody. Hi, my name's Phil from Beer Goals, and today my beer goal is to make a beer o lantern. That's right, a jack o' lantern for drinking beer. Beer o lantern! I know that there's something right now that's really dividing the country. Should you drink pumpkin beer? If it were up to me, I would take that pumpkin beer and pour it down the drain. Should you drink a pumpkin beer tree, or should you do a pumpkin beer drain pour trick? For the record, that was just water. I would never commit such a violence to beer. Mmm. <sighs> Spicy. They say that variety is the spice of life. Also, spice is the spice of life. But that's why I got a variety pack of the Elysian Pumpkin Pack from the good folks at Elysian Brewing out of Seattle, Washington. Now, you beer snobs will know that Elysian is a subsidiary of Delicious. Uh, it's this pumpkin pack. I can never decide what kind of beers I want to drink, and there's so many great pumpkin ales and pumpkin brews out there uh, during this time of year. The Elysian Pumpkachino with a little coffee, Dark of the Moon Pumpkin Stout, Night Owl Pumpkin Owl, the Elysian The Great Pumpkin, Imperial Pumpkin Ale. But we're gonna drink them right out of a beer o lantern Beer o lantern Now this time of year, if you can't find a drinking buddy, it's Halloween, so I say you carve a drinking buddy. You're gonna need a couple of items. First, after you're done picking out your, your pumpkin beer, you wanna get a small pumpkin. Now to be very sure, this is not a gourd. Who makes gourd beer? I don't know, maybe InBev? Get a good pumpkin, this is a good size right here. And if you can't find a mini pumpkin, you can steal one from your children. They didn't pay for it. Second, you're going to want to get a magic marker, a sharpie, or a pen. And then you're going to pick a beer-themed design of what you're going to put on your beer o' lantern. Because I'm so creative, I'm going to choose the word beer. Please call me. Beer. Number three, you want to get your wife's permission to use sharp objects. After all, You've been drinking pumpkin beer all day. Then you're gonna need a knife and probably one of those uh, fun carving kits that they sell at the drugstore right next to the pumpkin beers. So we're gonna cut it on the top. Is this too big a knife? Yeah. <laughs> I got too big a knife. Oh, come on. This really circle, you know, just doing the old, oh boy. Kind of like Martha Stewart's uh, Halloween decorations, but with a lot less alcohol and crime. Look at that, boom. That's where your beer's gonna go. Carbon kit, ooh, that won't fit. This one, you know what? There we go. If you're lazy, what you wanna do is make nature's beer koozie. All right. That's where my beer's gonna go, right in here. You know, if you try hard enough, any beer can be a pumpkin beer. Some of these uh, pumpkin guts, throw it in your Budweiser, boom. Pumpkin beers. We're gonna start carving. And you gotta start pulling out your design. Boop. All right, and you get through the whole thing. Boop. Beer o lantern. Look at it. It's like a it's like a Halloween Stein. Fifthly, what you're gonna do is take some uh, aluminum foil. Piece out. We're gonna line the inside of your beer o lantern. Make sure to get all the sides so no beer gets out. You're gonna pour it in there. Mmm, cheers, you're gonna drink right out of it. Why do pineapples get to have all the fun? Carve a pumpkin, drink a beer right out of it. Forget that, here's what the real folks do. Pour some beer in there. Beer o' lantern. <sighs> Why did the ghost have to call in sick to work? Because he had too much booze. Be sure to upload pictures and videos of your own Bureau Lanterns with the hashtag Beer Goals, hashtag Bureau Lantern. Happy Halloween from Beer Goals, everybody. Cheers!